Sometimes we make the mistake of thinking that the more complex the exercise is, the more it will make us improve. And this is far from the truth. Let me introduce you to the rolling aerometer. This is a machine that was invented by the devil himself. It's a very simple action to get you in shape for wrestling and it mimics the metabolic demands of wrestling. An aerobic, aerobic, the lactate buildup, that grinding type of endurance for both your upper and lower body extremities. But don't mistake this simple action as being easy, it's far from easy. This will be very tough and that's what we're after. So your typical rowing competition will consist of 2000 meters and elite athletes will usually achieve this in a matter of 5 to 7 minutes. This means that both the aerobic energy system is used as is the anaerobic energy system. I go into this more in depth in my video needs of a wrestler but the aerobic energy system means that the intensity is low enough for your body to use oxygen as a source for energy basically. Your everyday walking, like light jogging, that's so... The intensity is so low that it can use oxygen, it doesn't need to rely on any other fuel source. Anaerobic however means that demand of energy is too high for oxygen to be used as a source because oxygen can only provide with this much energy. So it has to use other sources like glucose which is the reason anaerobic means without oxygen. So take a all out rowing for a matter of minutes or a wrestling match that is predominantly anaerobic. And aerobic is the secondary need here for us. Lactate levels can reach up to 19 minimums per liters after a competition in rowing and this is very similar to a wrestling match which is 20 millimoles per liter after a match. So we already have similar metabolic demands here and I mean a rowing competition, 5-7 to seven minutes for elite athletes, elite rowers, and a wrestling, a freestyle wrestling match is 2 times 3 minutes with 30 seconds rest. And I mean, 30 seconds, that's basically nothing, so just say 6 minutes. It's already similar in that way. As a rule of thumb, you can think of it like this. The shorter the sport, the more it requires anaerobic energy. And I mean, wrestling, it's not the shortest sport out there. We have 100 meter sprints, we have Olympic weightlifting, but it is relatively short. So it needs to rely, I would say, more on anaerobic energy than aerobic, although both are important. So what are the pros and cons of using the rowing aerometer for wrestling conditioning? First of all, you have the ability to measure progress, and that is a huge advantage. You have the LCD on your rowing ergometer where you can see how many meters you have rowed, like you can measure the pace per 500 minutes, measure heart rate, measure the total distance that you have rowed. Do you know how good this is? We'll go more in depth into this later though. It is very practical, I mean it's just this machine that just, you can put it in a corner anywhere, you can put it in your basement if you have the money to buy it, it is very practical and it is a very simple movement to use. It probably requires some technical understanding, but you basically just sit down, push off with your legs and drag it towards your body. It doesn't require like... Obviously you're not gonna do it as good as the world-class elite rowers, I mean there are levels to everything, but... Considering you're gonna use it for wrestling conditioning, you only need this good technique. And there is a lot of material out there where you can learn this. Also it is a full body workout of course, you use your upper body and your lower body. You push off with your legs and you drag with your upper body, so... It's everything in one package. Now the cons. It's not very sport specific. Like you don't you don't do a bunch of double leg takedowns on the rowing ergometer, right? You're just sitting there and dragging with your whole body. And I mean if you watch most of my videos, I am very critical of non-sport specific movements like rowing for wrestling, for example. It's not very specific per se, but Nothing is written in stone, I mean conditioning is a very complex area to just set rules like this. This rowing ergometer has its place too, like just the ability to measure your progress is a huge advantage and I mean we're living in a quarantine right now. You probably can't build like a freaking circuit workout with a bunch of fancy advanced equipment like prowlers and do a bunch of deadlifts here and there like... This is probably the best you got right now, and even if it wasn't quarantine, it's still a good method to do your conditioning. The hard work, like the energy you put in, is probably more important than the method of training yourself. I would say just more important, both strategy and all of that is important as well, but the hard work, it can never be like substituted for anything else, so that is the most important thing, not always the method you choose. 
Also, it is a similar and repetitive pattern, like it's a lack of dynamic movement, and this is similar to the first point, actually, so those are the cons, I would say. Whichever method you choose to condition yourself, like I said, the key will be to go hard. Like, you need to have a mental advantage over your opponents in the wrestling match. It is as simple as that. Some of those guys out there, they are killers, like, they... They come from tragic backgrounds probably, they have meaning, like, they will go out there and break your will, like, you need to have this mental advantage over them. And if you go hard every single session, you will have that. Now, let's get to the workout itself. First of all, get some basic technical understanding of rowing before starting, like, there is a lot of material out there, you have YouTube, just look up professional people, it's not that hard. Get some basic technical understanding, that's it. You will have two alternatives for this workout, an aerobic workout and an anaerobic workout, and hopefully you know what that means by now. We will make the workout specific to wrestling, which means time span and intensity. A wrestling match is 6 minutes and it's very intense. Intense for 6 minutes, 2 3 minute rounds with 30 seconds rest, 6 minutes. And that doesn't mean we need to go bananas with like... 10 kilometers of rowing in a low intensity like that's not similar to wrestling we need to make it specific to wrestling the aerobic alternative will work on your general fitness throughout the match we compete several times in one day so we need to be prepared in that regard like your general fitness for those couple of minutes and your recovery in between matches it will help you with that too the anaerobic alternative will work on your explosive bursts and scrambles throughout a match, like let's say you're equal at the end and there's 10 seconds left, you wanna go all out, like this is anaerobic power, or you're, going es you're gonna escape a takedown, you're gonna go for a double leg and give it all you got there, this is anaerobic power, and it's this short burst of going all out and resting a bit longer, that's how you train anaerobic energy system. The aerobic workout... We will begin by preparing ourselves with some dynamic stretching, which means the arm circles and hip rotations, all of that you do before a wrestling match, then we will warm up for 5-10 to 10 minutes at low to medium effort on the rowing ergometer. Then we will go over to the main workout itself, which is 6 minutes of high effort rowing followed by 2-4 to four minutes rest. That is one round. Come on! Man! Ah! Take it Go home! Take it home! And we will repeat this process for 6 months, so the total activity time is 36 minutes. And I mean, some of you might say that's short for a cardio workout. I mean, don't you usually just run 10 kilometers with your team? I do it with my team, like we do miles after miles, I mean... Sure, that can work on your aerobic availability too, but it's not very wrestling specific. It's not nowhere close to the intensity of a wrestling match. So instead of focusing on the length of the workout, focus on what you do within those few minutes. Will you go hard or will you slack it off? This is up to you. The improvement here is 100% up to you. It is up to you to go hard if it's going to get you any results, that mental advantage we talked about. Also... Make the monitor of the rowing ergometer your friend. This is this will give you so much information. You can track the meters you row every round and the total for the workout, the average pace. Try to beat them in the next workout. Keep a log when you come home. Like compare this workout to the previous. Set goals for yourself for this month, for this year, whatever. You need to set goals all the time. That is what will make you great, like setting goals. Now here is an example of a Arnaio aerobic workout i'm sorry round one six minutes you can track down all the meters you cover the average pace and the watts all of this is visible in the lcd monitor that we talked about do this for every round you will do this for six rounds so track every single variable that you see and then after that make a total sum of one of the variables the most practical one is probably the meters you roll, the distance, because it's easy to track and it's not too complicated. We're a bunch of watts and average pace and all of that. So let's say you did a total of 8,483 meters this workout. Okay, write it down and tell yourself, ask yourself, how will I beat this the next workout? What do I have to do? Maybe you will have to step up your game just a little bit every round, like average 10 meters more every round for the next workout. That will give me an advantage. And to be fair, this is just one example of a format. This 
six minutes activity. I mean, there is countless of other formats out there. You just have to, at some point, we just have to choose something and just stick to it. As simple as that. This is one of many methods. Like the work you put in, that's the important part. That's the most important part. And now for the anaerobic workout. Same thing here. Do some dynamic stretching, the arm circles and all of that and warm up. Just like you did, we talked about in the aerobic workout. After that, the difference here will be the main workout itself. You will go, instead of 6 minutes, you will go 30 seconds only, but you will like go very high effort, maximum effort. Go all out in those few 30 seconds, then you will rest for 1 minute. We will have a rest ratio of 1 by 2. And we will repeat this for 20 rounds. And don't be fooled by the short duration. I know some of you might be thinking, oh, it's 30 seconds, it's easy. No, it doesn't work like that. Each of those 30 second rounds has to be a nightmare to perform. Because we are training ourselves for those tough scrambles that we will come across in a wrestling match. We, and they will happen. And when the lactic acid is high, like you will feel it. And this is the part where you have to push forward anyways to make your body used to this lactic acid. To teach it to withstand it and continue working anyways. And the reason we're using this kind of format, like 1x2, as you can see here, the anaerobic system, it's a broad term. There is different formats for anaerobic training. For example, we in wrestling, we will be somewhere between here, between the fast glycolysis system and the oxidative system. So it leans kind of toward the aerobic system, but not exactly. And this is why... This, when you rest for one minute, you will not be fully recovered. It's pretty short for being an anaerobic format, but this is what we want because it's very similar to wrestling. You will go in an all-out burst in wrestling and you will not have time to rest a lot, so one minute is actually very generous, so use it wisely. And don't worry about not feeling recovered. Give all you got the next round anyways. We want to save the high... Uh, the higher spectrum of anaerobic training, like the long rest periods for our strength or power training sessions instead. Not here. They have their place as well. Once again, keep your eyes on the monitor. This is your friend here. Like we talked about in the aerobic workout, write down the distance you row or the wattage, whichever variable you choose, and beat them every time you do this save it for the next workout have a notepad with you and set up goals for yourself this is what will make you improve also please tell me like how the workout went for you if you decide to try this yourself and keep me updated in the comment section i'm very interested in this thank you let's go